Highlands ARH will now be offering a higher level of care for children in the region following their ribbon cutting for its new Level 2 Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. The unit will allow Highlands ARH to provide care for premature infants born as early as 32 weeks and allow for more families to stay close to home while receiving care. Because so many babies do so well now, um, this gives us the opportunity to stabilize them and to kind of see them through the first week or so. And um, being able to do that is hugely helpful because before now, even if they didn't need a lot of support, they ended up having to be moved and then for one or two days worth of a higher level of care. So this just feels like a much more appropriate way to take care of them. Prior to the opening, parents with premature babies would potentially be separated from their newborn and forced to travel out of the region. You know, the neonatal uh, ICU that we're announcing here today is a big addition to accessibility of health care. Now when uh, babies are born and they need further medical attention, normally they're sent to Huntington or to Lexington. Uh, our folks deserve better than that, especially when you have a a baby that's been born and it has some health conditions that uh, need people here close to where our folks don't have to travel. They don't have to go, you know, 100 miles or further to get to proper care uh, for a baby that uh, needs the attention that they got to have, maybe for a month, it may be a year. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. The new neonatal ICU was not the only announcement today as Highlands ARH also received a check from the Appalachian Regional Commission for a new mobile health clinic. Today's uh, announcement is a $400,000 check for a mobile clinic. A mobile clinic that will travel into rural areas of eastern Kentucky and again will go after uh, and help those folks that don't have proper transportation. So this mobile clinic will go to them. And I think that is something that is needed, especially in rural areas of eastern Kentucky, and to be able to, again, provide that accessible quality health care for folks. But this mobile unit will go to rural, remote communities, park, and be there uh, at different days scheduled. And I just think it's another addition that our people need for screenings, for early detections, and all of those things that it takes to save lives. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.